Hi everyone. Thank you for joining Parkinson Voice Project for today's online Speak Out Home practice session. My name is Samantha Allendary. I'm a speech language pathologist and the founder of Parkinson Voice Project. I'm here to help you learn the Speak Out exercises and also help you establish and maintain a consistent Speak Out Home practice routine. Hopefully all of you are working one-on-one -on -one with a Speak Out provider that is a speech language pathologist who has been trained in our speak out therapy program today's topic the pharmacy everybody say pharmacy with intent ready pharmacy now when you say that are you lifting your voice and speaking out try it again pharmacy again pharmacy that's right Every time you're saying something, you're projecting your voice forward, getting it away from here and getting it in front of you. That's what it means to speak out. Let's go ahead and take a sip of water. And then at the end of this session, I'm going to try to end a little bit early because I would like to show you a few minutes of a lecture that we have on our website about managing medications and Parkinson's. So if you haven't watched that, I figured at the end of this session, we can watch a few minutes of it. So we'll end the session with that. But first, we need to do our speak out exercises. Speak out exercise number one, the warm up. We use the M because the M is the most forward sound that we have. Think about the G sound. Everybody say guh, guh. It's the back, that's a back sound. But the M, we, we need to make it by closing our lips. It's the most forward sound we have. And we're pr trying to bring the voice forward and speak out. Let's do this together five times. May, me, my, mo, moo. Lots of energy again. May, me, my, mo, moo. Again. Are you connecting the sounds? Try it again. May, me, my, mo, moo. Did you notice that time that I had to take a breath here? You don't have to make it all the way to the end on one breath. It's not about that. Don't think about your breath. Just tell yourself, I've got to project my voice forward. Let's do it one more time. May, me, my, mo, Very good. Let's take a sip of water with intent. While you're doing that, when you're done taking your water, I'm going to ask you a question. What is the name of your pharmacist? Did you say it with intent? Do you know the name of your pharmacist? The pharmacist should be one of the key people on your medical care team. So if you don't know your pharmacist or you're not crazy about the people running the pharmacy, then I encourage you to find another one or get to know your pharmacist. Uh, you should know the pharmacist's birthday and be giving them a Christmas card. The medications are such an important part of managing Parkinson's that sometimes I feel like we overlook that. We go to the pharmacy, we ask a question, we don't even really know the pharmacist. So I encourage you to do that. Let's move on to speak out exercise number two, the Oz. Deliberately open your mouth and project your voice forward. Ready? Ah. Good, make sure 
the sound is ah, not eh or ah uh, or anything like that. Ready? Ah. The sound should be clear and consistent all the way through, and it should never hurt to do these exercises. Let's do it again. Ah. Good. Let's do a shorter one. Ready? Ah. One more. Let's take a sip of water with intent. That means be purposeful, be deliberate. Think about what you're doing as you put your mouth up to the cup and you take the water in your mouth and you swallow with intent. Speak out exercise number three, the glides. This is the most challenging for many, many people. I want you to produce a steady ah first, steady ah first, and then glide. Ready? Ah. Ah. Good. Purposefully keep that mouth open. Ready? Ah, ah, good. Let's do it again. Ah, stop. Close your mouth. The sound is always in front of you, even though you're going up and down. Let's try it again. More intent. Ready? Ah. Ah. Good. We're working hard. One more. One more glide. Steady ah. Then glide and try to get as many of those little notes in there as you can. Ready? Ah. Ah. Very good. We're done with the glides, everybody. Yes. Let's take a sip of water with intent. We should say woohoo, right? Everybody say that with intent. Woohoo! We're done with the glides. For the ahs and the glides, we were coordinating the breathing muscles with the vocal folds or the phonatory system. Now, so, so that because the mouth was open, mouth stayed open while we did the ahs and the glides. Now we're going to add words. So now we are including the articulatory system and we start with numbers because numbers will be easier, okay, to read and say than, let's say, reading sentences. So we start with this. Ready, everyone? With intent. One, two, three, four, up and over. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Connect them. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 
I'm going to put this down. We're going to do four numbers. We're lifting and projecting forward. So you're projecting your voice over your computer. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Notice how we're lifting. It's one, two. It's not one, two, three, or one, two, three. No, we're trying to move the vocal folds so that you will have a more colorful voice in addition to re-coordinating the breathing pattern. Let's do it once more. Start with number one. We'll say four numbers at a time. Ready? One, two, three, four. Stop. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Good job. Let's take a sip of water with intent. Another tip regarding pharmacy is that you really need to find one pharmacy to work, um, to work with. Uh, I know that some pharmacies will have certain specials on, on certain medications, but it's really not a good idea to be getting these medications over here and then these medications over, over there. So think about it. Is that something that you need to be doing? All right. You know, Elizabeth is monitoring today's session and I thought actually that Julie was going to be making an announcement today. But if she doesn't do it today, it'll be tomorrow. She reached a milestone. Let's go ahead and read these sentences about going to the pharmacy. Everybody with intent. Good morning. Again. Good morning. Let's one more time. The best one. Ready? Good morning. Good. We're going to read each one three times with intent. Good, better, best. Ready? The pharmacy opens at nine. Now better. The pharmacy opens at nine. And our best one. The pharmacy opens at nine. When I say best, you're using a lot of intent, high energy, projecting your voice forward. Let's try this one. Good. Ready? I called in my prescription. Now better. I called in my prescription. And the best. I called in my prescription. Every syllable with intent. Let's just read this one twice. Ready? Is a generic brand available? Now better. Is a generic brand available? We're speaking out. Next one. Do I take these pills with food? Now make it even better. Do I take these pills with food? Last sentence. Ready? May I speak with the pharmacist? Make it even better. May I speak with the pharmacist? Every syllable with intent. One more time. Make this one your best. May I speak with the pharmacist? Good job. I really like that good, better, best. I want you to do that. Take a sip of water. In your Speak Out workbook, you have two pages of reading, but to be honest, we're thinking about changing it to only one 
and repeating these sentences over and over, we think that you will use more intent and your speech will get better by doing that. We're moving on to the cognitive exercise. So here are some questions. Say every word with intent. What are some things to consider when starting a new medication? List one or two things you need to consider. Go ahead, with intent. Next one. Name one or two ways to manage or, uh, your medication schedule. So what helps you, what are some tips to help you manage your medication schedule? I'll love, I will enjoy reading the chat after this session. Although I do hope that you are answering these questions verbally and not just in the chat. Hmm, one or two suggestions or tips for preventing the common cold. Say every single word with intent. Are you speaking out? Is your voice going in front of you? Um, this is a typo. All right, common questions to ask pharmacists. What do you think a common question is that a lot of people ask the pharmacist? Say each word with intent. All right, let's do Dr. Boone's words twice. I really want to show you a little bit of the lecture that is on our website, and Elizabeth is going to post the link to the lecture, but you can find it at parkinsonvoiceproject.org under education and training. Look for our Parkinson's lecture series. And I'm gonna show you a little bit. We'll end the session with a few minutes of that presentation so you can see what it's like. All right, ready? Each nonsense word twice. Gula ga ga ga. Again. Gula ga ga ga. Next one. Ku ka mangu ka. Are you speaking out? Ku ka mangu ka. Ready? Gangla. Gangla. Lots of energy. Last one. Ku kla. Kukla. All right. Uh, before we watch part of the lecture, I do want to tell all of you, we had like 20 people offer to distribute brochures. Our new brochure is ready. It's fantastic. It will educate people about Speak Out, and there's a screening on the back for speech and swallowing because a lot of people with Parkinson's don't recognize the trouble that they're having, so these questions will help. If you're willing to distribute brochures to your pharmacy, your neurologist, your Parkinson's support groups, boxing classes, all your doctors, send an email to intent at parkinsonvoiceproject.org. Make sure to include your name, your address, put your phone number in there just in case we have a question, and how many brochures you want us to send you. All right, I want to end today's session. If you are not familiar with Parkinson Voice Project's lecture series, on our website here at the top, it says education and training and then you go down to the lecture series. We have over 20 professional presentations by Parkinson's experts. Turn up your volume on this one. This is the one with Dr. Amy Blasick, and we're just going to watch a few minutes. She is talking about how you have to give certain medications time to work out, to work. Okay, need to be patient. So we're going to watch about three minutes, and I understand some of you might have to get off in a minute. But if you can, stay on, and then later watch the whole lecture. We all want something right now, and especially when something hurts or is bothersome, we absolutely want relief right now. But what I can tell you is that when you're making that one change at a time, you want to make sure that you're giving that change an opportunity to work. And some of these medicines, it may take a week or two, 
I'm not saying Parkinson's medicines necessarily, but there are some medicines like for constipation, it may take a couple of days to really you know, make sure that, see if they're working. Um, so the medicines for Parkinson's, you're typically gonna know pretty quickly, within the next day or two, sometimes within the next hour or two. But you wanna make sure that you're giving it time. So if you decide, you know what, I'm gonna take my Cinemet at six o'clock instead of 4.30. Give it a couple of days and see if that really truly is what happens, or if that's really gonna give you what it is that you're seeking. Um, again, medicines for constipation. Some of these medicines will work really quickly. We've got, we've got a couple that I lovingly call like the colon cannon or liquid dynamite. These are, these are things that I tell folks, don't go anywhere, be real close to the bathroom. This is not the day to go to the fair. This is the day to stay close. There are other medicines like Miralax, DocuSafe. These take a while to, to really kind of figure out whether or not they're gonna work. They can take one or two days. I'm sorry, it seems that you're not able to hear it. Uh, Julie just came in to see if I'm doing something. Is there anything I can do to? Nope, I don't looks right. Yeah, I know you have to turn up the volume. I don't know, I could hear it. Um, I was able to hear it on my end, and it's such good information. So go to the website. Um, let me just take you there. Since we're out of time, let me make sure that you know how to find it. So this is the home page of parkinsonvoiceproject.org. We're going to education and training. We will go down to Parkinson's Lecture Series. I'm going to click on that. These, and then you will see all different topics. These are Parkinson's experts that presented at Parkinson Voice Project. And right here, it says Pharmacological Management of Parkinson's. And that is the lecture by Dr. Amy Blasek. It is an excellent lecture, as are all of the lectures. But I hope that you will take time to watch it. I'm sorry that you couldn't hear it. Um, all right. Thank you for joining me today. Download the reading material from today's session. There are a lot more sentences that we did not get to. Take what you learned during the session and practice, practice, practice. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.